Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overall Sandbox and Kerbal Space Program 1.11. In this video I begin hopefully a compelling journey in making surface bases and stations much more interesting and compelling. So far when we land surface bases we do some science. We might have an ISRU unit, a uh, resource utilization unit that drills for uh, fuel on the surface and that's about it. And, you know, a lot of the bases are just for show. People aren't doing anything at the bases. You know, the Kerbals are sort of there for no particular reason. As far as NC2 resource utilization is concerned, they don't need to be there. Maybe one engineer needs to be there, but that's about it. It's There's no good reason for the Kerbals to be on the surface of the Moon or Mars or anything like that. So that is a problem. I would like them to have a purpose. And to that end, I decided that the best way to give them a purpose is to give them props. I think that, you know, if they have stuff to move about, stuff to create, stuff to manipulate, that will help the whole situation. And to that end, we have a pizzeria. Um, so this is our first pass-through base. So I already started the pass-through station thing, and that will help in this whole endeavor. And here we have our first pass-through base. So if we open the airlock here, you will note a finely paneled interior that they will walk into. And of course, the inner door there is closed right now because that's how airlocks work. Um, so we close airlock and this one opens, that hatch. And there's the same hatch uh, used on the pass-through system. And here we have a sort of elegantly paneled thing and pizzas. They are a little bit big. I'll add tweak scale to them later. Uh, they are big because they are food carrying units and so they are an effective way to deliver food from place to place. Uh, so instead of having these weird food containers, we can have these pizzas, basically. I just wanted pizzas, all right? Uh, we, I'll add tweak scale to them so that they'll fit the table here a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so here we have room for nine. These are command chairs. They're sort of a modification on the chairs that I've already used in other videos. They're just a little bit squatter, don't have the headrest bit. And then the upper uh, level is the kitchen, right? So we have a counter and no appliances right now. We'll get to that. We'll have to deliver the appliances, right? Maybe appliances should get broken, I don't know. And so the people in the kitchen will have to use the ladder to come down with the pizza. And I was thinking of having a uh, toilet over on uh, over here. The, the, this area was for the toilet. I haven't put it in yet. But yeah, there, there ought to be toilets. Uh, that, that might be complicated. I was also thinking instead of just having a greenhouse unit, we should actually have plants that produce the food and consume the thing. So we'll have plant props. And maybe, I mean, if I get ever to get down to programming in this game, right now it's all been making parts. I haven't done a single bit of making a plugin. But if I ever get down to making a plugin, it'd be nice to have like the plants sort of die out over time, fail, if you will. Maybe I should just add test flight to them. They'll just randomly fail and you have to bring a new one. It's a little bit weird since it's not an engine. Well, no, there's other failure mods. I, I could figure out something with another failure mod where the plants fail and then so you need to uh, get new plants. So you can see where this is going. It's a bit complicated. It's a lot complicated. It's, uh, it is not for the faint of heart. And so, yeah, it's a bit of an involved situation. But Little Bopper Pizza, obviously a reference to Bop, also a reference to Little Caesar. Also a reference to the Big Bopper, incidentally. And nobody gave me any really compelling ideas for a pizzeria name, so I just came up with that myself. Um, we have a ladder here, of course, and the airlock stuff. And we need to launch this. Now, you'll notice the really big orange there. Uh, this is actually an oversized orange compared to normal orange, and that's because this module is fairly heavy. Um, it's uh, nigh on 20 tons right now. Uh, in KSB 1.11, Tech Life Support does not seem to be telling me the truth about how much uh, food, water, and oxygen people are going to need. And so when I add a single crew member in this, and I can put the crew, crew member in any of the chairs, I think we'll send Melvin. It says six years, five years, five years. That was not how much this amount of food would have provided Melvin. So 
there's some discrepancy in the life support system. That's one of the flaws. There's two flaws in 1.11 I see right now. There's the life support issue that I don't understand, and also EVA propellant issue. Those two things annoy me, and to some extent, we will have to deal with those. But anyway, for now, we've got an oversized orange that will land this, and that means this whole thing has a payload mass of 52 tons. Now, I want to try and use the SLS Block 1B with it, but of course this is beyond the normal capacity of SLS Block 1B. Uh, so we might be relying on the orange to do some bit of the transfer burn or something like that, but it only has 2,900 meters per second, so it's not a whole lot. It's methane and oxygen burning uh, 306... Oh, I separated off the, the pr propellant module fuel, the thrusters, uh, we've got 356 second ISP methane thrusters there. And yeah, we'll try SLS Block 1B, but I'm not sure it's going to work. So we're going to try and deliver this to the moon. We're going to send it to the surface of the moon and get this whole deal started. But I don't know, I haven't tried that out yet. And it's constantly lying to me about the Delta V, you can see. So we don't really know if it's going to work. Uh, so I'm gonna make the fairings less dense. They're pretty heavy as it is. I want every little bit of margin that I can get. So SLS Block 1B, we will see if it can deliver this habitat to the surface of the moon. Because one thing that irritated me is that there's a whole lot of trying to use the landers as the habitats kind of thing, and I don't like that. I, I want to... I want... A dedicated habitat and we'll have other things except for a pizzeria of course uh, largely it'll use the same textures as this hab this hab is based on the NTP hab that I made before so it's just using the same textures and I'll reuse the textures as much as I can including the interiors we'll just have oh there's two fairings isn't there uh, let's not have that yeah we will want to have as much shared textures as possible because that's one uh, stumbling block as far as making all these props and interiors and such is eventually we're going to have RAM limits and possibly I'm going to have to limit myself to very few launch vehicles in this install if I'm going to try and make all that happen so we might just have to pick one now if you're wondering about why not Lunar Starship it's obviously because we can't not this well first of all we have to do all the refueling but there's actually no way for lunar starship to set this on the ground <laughs> it's too big uh lunar starship has the payload capacity if we do all the refuelings to land something like this on the surface of the moon it's 52 ton well we wouldn't even need the sky crane right so it's got that but it doesn't have the ability to move this module out of it and Unless it, uh, Lunar Starship also has a big hatch. If Lunar Starship has a big hatch, then that's a different thing. Uh, but right now, it does not have a big hatch as far as I know, and certainly nothing that big. So, Which is a problem, because if they're going to have that big payload capacity to surface of the moon, they are only planning to ship stuff to the surface of the moon in little tiny chunks that are smaller than a normal you know, preset module. The most useful thing would be to have you know, a full crew module for a surface base ready to go and move that out instead of having to construct it on the surface. But anyway, I think we are ready to go. So Pizza Ab, let's see what happens. Ah, uh, once you know it, it's gonna be a nighttime launch. Anyway, there's Melvin Kerman in one of the seats in the pizzeria, uh, which directionally would not be the best thing in this case. And Generally, this is not a good idea to launch a person in a surface based module like this, but we want to do it to test a lot of things, so we'll just go with it. Anyway, we can't see the life support yet because we haven't launched. Throttle is up, SAS is on, ignition. These engines don't have the right plume, do they? Uh, well, we're using hydrogen, so let's. Oh my god, this install doesn't have the plumes and has other problems.
guys. Did I did I say that 1.11 only has a few problems? <laughs> uh, okay, but this, uh, the plumes, this mod, I'll get the plumes. I'll figure it out. Um, well, they're producing thrust. You know, I mean, obviously. The real plume configurations for this particular mod were separate uh, from Realism Overhaul. They aren't part of Realism Overhaul, so... Sometimes I might forget such things. These are just... Those are the stock plumes, and then there's obviously no plumes on the SRBs right now. Forgive me. Probably the second stage is the same way. But yeah, the whole delay at the ground with it not accelerating... That I've seen sometimes, I don't know. I thought I had that one licked, but it seems like it's back, so. I guess we could use like a normal cargo starship and just have, but then it'll have to go to the moon still, but it won't have to land on the moon. Gosh, there's a lot of oscillation in pitch. Let me auto strut. Nope, still oscillating. Okay, um, we can separate the boosters. That's a little bit late, actually. But the engines aren't making me feel happy, so... They're just twirling around and around. Nothing about this is the most efficient situation we could have hoped for here. Fortunately, we can land anywhere. At least we don't have to do a pinpoint landing somewhere. Okay, and the burn here. Next stage. Oh, uh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. We did not want the orange at the same time. Stop that. Okay. There we go. I put B2, uh, RL10 B2s on. Well, it's gonna be tight, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. So this NTP hab normally as I originally configured it for the Mars mission, would contain enough food, water, and oxygen for Mars, and at that level it was 45 tons, uh, all, all included, the supplies and everything, and that was based on the NASA plan. Extrapolating from that, if you subtract out the extra food, water, and oxygen, uh, you can get down to this kind of mass, so... And also I subtracted out the MMH and NTO for the RCS thrusters. Right now, even though we still have the RCS thrusters at the bottom of it, those are useless because they don't have any propellant. Okay, making orbit and shut down there. And yeah, let's get a fizz warp. All right, on to the moon. Oh, we could have just kept burning too. Well, we should probably wait in orbit because the stage takes a little bit of time. It's got just enough, you know, it's 3,124 meters per second there. I'll take the inclination, that's fine for now. This is just a test to see whether this will work out, especially given all the other problems we've had and the SLS, of course. Okay, we're waiting in orbit. Seems like a li likely thing for NASA to do. We have solar panels on top of this, but maybe not enough solar panels, uh, especially with the orange getting in the way of the ones that extend. Should have put them here instead on the side so that they could operate at the same time as the oranges there. Okay, here we go. Again, sorry for the stock plume. They do have their regular performance, I can tell. Uh, so you can see that there. Oh, it's actually dark in here. Hmm. That's interesting. We can sort of see Milvin right there and the pizzas and everything. But with the starship, it was fairly bright inside the starship. If you recall the pass-through starship that I had building the pass-through station. The interior of the starship was fairly bright. That's why I thought that I didn't need to add lights. Otherwise, I might have... Uh, that, uh, that was one of the things I was testing with that Starship station, is whether I would need lights inside. And it seemed very bright inside, so I thought that I could get away without that, but... What does Stack Light Support say right now? Well, it still says six years, five years, five years, so... 
Uh, something weird. What's the point of even delivering pizza if they get to last that long on 30 liters of food, which is the physical size of the pizza would give that. Um, it's a one meter diameter pizza that we've got in there right now, so obviously needs some tweak scaling, but... Okay, let's just... Oh, uh, I still wanted that note. Ah. Okay, separation. And let me reactivate the engine like this. Okay. Kill rotation. Okay. Uh, that might be a little bit low. That's okay. Alright, we are on our way. Let's see about power. Out of all of this, the majority of the polygons on this thing are in the text. It is in the text. <laughs> the little bopper pizza text has most of the polygons. Okay, so does it read that these are getting any electric? No, they're blocked because of the orange. Yeah, solar panel placement definitely needed some work and Melvin is not an engineer. Okay, well, for the purposes of this test, since this is going to be a test and we will redo this, I'm going to officially cheat and turn on infinite electricity for now. Still has a draw of 0.01, by the way. Figure that one out. It's still drawing electricity. <laughs> I don't even get to cheat right. Anyway. Okay, we're on a crash course. Typical. Now it's net replenishing the electric charge. Hold on. Let me uh, take off infinite electricity. Well, now it's net draw, but... Maybe we can sustain that. The doubt V on the stock indicator is very obviously wrong. That's what it would be if we didn't have any payload, probably. And... How long until periapsis? It's pretty tight, but... I think we'll have enough, especially if we land pretty quickly. Now yeah, let's get the landing gear down. Eventually we'll pull those up for the Kerbals to get into the pizzeria. Okay, we better get going. Now it's reading only 680 meters per second. It's very, very inconsistent. At least, okay, as long as I put a dummy stage in here, I can get a read down here anyway. That's good. It's not as much as I would like for a landing. Now, where do we land? I wouldn't have minded to land in this crater here, but I don't think we'll decelerate quickly enough. Now, there is the whole matter of how this gets powered when there isn't sunlight. And for that, I've already made a Soviet that eventually got transferred to the United States nuclear reactor that we hope to deploy. You might have caught that one in a previous video as well. There was a purpose to that. That was a, probably for space uses, but hey, we can use it on the ground too. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, let's do this a little bit more decisively. Okay, lots and lots of deceleration. We've got way more, way less margin right now than we had to begin with. And ideally we'd want the orange to fly off, right? Just a little bit. Wow, this is tight. <laughs> uh, Oh no, don't make me have to shut down. That takes time. Uh, oh no, I did it again. Oh, I always do this. How did this happen? Uh, I should make these instant starting, darn it. Oh, great. 
22 meters per second we don't have enough and now we're sliding down uh, uh, come on do something interesting no well there's always Kerbal power let's see all right um, this will be hard for Milvin to we have to actually get Milvin out of the command chair hmm Ah, uh, Milvin should get some food, water, and oxygen. Oh, Milvin doesn't have enough capacity. I don't know why it's like this for 1.11. When there's no power here. Well, it'll be easier without the orange anyway. Orange. Orange doesn't have any more methane? What? Pizza Hub. Oh, I, I didn't transfer the power. Gosh darn it. Okay, well, I wonder if the solar panels can push the orange. They can. Well, now we'll have power. Maybe I should extend both. Uh, we only really need one. Okay, now we're getting power. But Milvin didn't have enough resources yet. Even this though, I don't get why the Kerbals should have so little. All the quantities in Realism Overhaul are in liters. There's no way 90 milliliters of food is worth anything. Well, something's going to be a problem. Okay, well, electric charge is diminishing very quickly, that's for sure. Okay, leave seat. Oh, yes, Milvin has fallen to the ground. Well, this is suddenly a different kind of situation. Okay, Milvin, can you can you do one of those hops? Oh, you really don't need a jetpack. You really should hop forward, though. Ah, there you go. Right. Uh, all right. Uh, this is awkward. Open airlock. Can we do that? Ah. Is, is Milvin moving around actually moving this at all? Is there hope to... Where is Milvin? Oh, there's Milvin. Okay, well, your camera is clipping the ground here, but Milvin is on the surface. Uh, I think Milvin might not be able to move this. I thought this had a sufficiently flat bottom. Yeah, Milvin doesn't have that kind of power in realism overall, especially. Uh, all right. So first pizzeria on the moon and uh, not successful. Still don't understand the tag life support situation. Can Movin get back in? Oh, Movin can sort of move it, but not in any constructive way. Uh, solar panel really close to destruction there. Yeah, Movin can roll it, but can't really. Oh, now it's rolling on its own. Oh, great. Come back. Anyway, as Milvin chases this, we'll have to do this over and a little bit better, I think. But uh, yeah, and it looks like I forgot the collider on the hatch actually, because otherwise, every time that hit the ground, it sort of perk up. That might actually help it out too. Mm, it'd be the wrong way around. It'll end up on its top instead. Anyway. There you have it, the first pizzeria on the moon. <laughs> With that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.